Hey, good morning, good day, fellow babies. Welcome back to Pactor Factor on Sifted.net. We are uh, hopeful that you are watching as a Patreon patron. If you are, thank you so much. You're getting it real time. Uh, we also are hopeful that you have figured out how to link your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon account. If you can do that, we are getting paid there as well. So you're getting it uh, real time. And if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, that'll work for us as well. Um, if you can't do any of those things, if you don't have the money, I totally get it. Uh, then you're watching a week late. But again, we appreciate your patronage at a minimum. Please follow me on Twitter at Michael Pack. Our next question comes from Sifted from The Champ. Why don't Sony and Microsoft? handle pre-orders by uh, like apple if you order an iphone 12 you will get the phone eventually you may not get it in a day or week or day one or week one but it's coming with consoles you miss the order window and it's gone until the next window opens wouldn't sony microsoft and consumers all benefit if orders are handled like apple i live in japan and stores use a raffle system yes and honestly um sony is a consumer electronics company and they make a lot of products and they should understand this and they're kind of remarkably dense uh microsoft is less of a consumer product company you know their core businesses are software based which means that you know they're unlimited copies of anything that they make and so you know while they make some devices like mice you know i mean it's not a high demand business and so they can fulfill uh, orders um both of them are stupid but but the answer i think is that um because they sell through retail and so they don't want to compete with retailers and so they're trying to not fulfill orders directly because they need retailers to sell the consoles unlike apple who just doesn't care so apple is perfectly happy to ship you the phone they're happy to have you buy it in an apple store and while apple does sell phones in some stores um more people buy apple phones in apple stores and directly online than they do in in retail um sony is not true in fact go to the sony website and try to buy a playstation and it directs you to you know the us to gamestop and best buy and target in japan to whoever the japanese retailers are um so it's just an anachronism and i completely agree with you that the companies aren't very smart about this and i completely agree with you that if they would guarantee that if you order it, you're going to get one eventually they would sell more and so this is a change they can make right now so uh we will tweet this out to at phil spencer to add xbox p3 as soon as uh, this episode goes live um but we will for sure make sure that sony and microsoft are aware i completely agree with you that there's just no hurt to them if they take pre-orders and they can always fulfill them through retailers just based on the percentage that those retailers sold of the prior you know numbers of consoles so i completely agree that sony should take the order and say gamestop will be contacting you and again i don't know the retailers in japan but they should say yes your order has been received and as soon as one is available this local retailer will contact you and arrange for delivery or pickup or ship or whatever um so yep i agree with you why don't they do it because not enough people complain. Let's start a trend. Let's complain. Let's get people pissed and let's make it happen. So I'm with you. The other thing is, you know, Apple sells like 100 million iPhones a year and Sony sells like 20 million consoles a year. So again, and they, you know, they Sony sold probably 150 million consoles. I think I was 55 or something since 2013. You know, Apple sold like 900 million phones since 2013. So it's just a different scale business. Um, and Apple makes a ton of profit. An iPhone costs for real about 150 bucks to manufacture and ship, and they sell it for a thousand. So you know, a PlayStation costs like 475 to manufacture and ship, and they sell it for 500. So Apple can afford to be magnanimous, and Sony probably doesn't care and hasn't thought about it because they're not really making any money on the console. But I do think that Sony is a very solid. Um, consumer facing company and they really do care about consumer perceptions so we're going to make them aware of this and see how they respond and i know microsoft at least the xbox team cares a ton about customers so we're going to make them aware of it and we're going to make them uh stand up and take notice and respond to this and we'll see what happens and if they don't then they suck they'll probably unfollow me on twitter and that'll be the end of it all right thanks for joining us on packer factor on sifted.net and again if you're a patreon patron 
We appreciate your patronage. If you have linked your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account, please remember to re-up that. We get a couple bucks a month and that's uh, really helpful so Shane can actually afford to produce these things. And if you can subscribe on YouTube, we appreciate anything that you are willing to, to commit. You're getting all that real time. If you're doing none of those and you're getting this a week late because you don't care or you have no money or you lost your job, I'm sorry. Uh, please follow me on Twitter and you will see I'm sincerely sorry and I'm a Democrat and I hope everybody is uh, taken care of in this t tough time. And I voted Democratic so we would get some stimulus. So I hope that you guys who don't have any money are going to get some stimulus from the government because the government needs to support you. Stay in school. Don't be a fool. That'll This will help you get a good job that where you can actually afford to vote your conscience, which is really what matters. Um, I hope everybody is healthy and safe and sane. And I hope you guys get through the year unscathed in your families. Thank you for watching.